hey guys this is Hakeem welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to build this home rental app using react native so stay tuned so the actual design was created by jovinda on dribble so dribble is a website where users upload design so if you need an inspiration to design your website or app you can visit dribble.com so before I continue let me walk you guys through the app so over here we have the first screen that is the onboard screen and we have this image below it we have the indicators so these indicators are actually static so there is no slider functionalities on these indicators then below it we have the test of find your sweet home and also below the test we have under test right here then over here we have a button with the title of guest ahead and once i click on this button it's going to take us to the home screen and inside the home screen we have a test of location so below it we have the location of canada and over here we have the profile image below it we have the search input and also we have the sort button and right here we have a car showing an option of buy a home and also rent a home so inside the car we have the um, home image so below the card we have the list of categories and once i click on it it's going to select the categories which actually has no effect on this card then below the list of categories we have a card so this card shows the um, available home and also it shows the image of the home the title the location and also the um, facilities of the home once i click on the card it's going to go to the detail screen and inside the detail screen we have the full image of the home and also we have these um headers right here and if i click on this back button it's going to take us back to the home screen then over here we have a tag of virtual tour and right here we have the title the location and the rating then below it we have the facilities and we have this um text over here then below the text we have the image of the interiors and also right here we have a footer in the footer we have the price and the test of total price and right here we have um, the button with the title of book now so this is what i'm going to build in this video if you like this kind of video please like and share and also if not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing turn on post notifications so you get notified in time i upload a new video and that's why i do let's start coding okay guys welcome back so i did create the project and also i structured the project so let me walk you guys through the structure of the project so over here create a folder called src so this holds the source of the app and inside the folder create a folder called asset so this holds the assets of the app so we have the house image the interior image the onboard image and this um person image then over here create a folder called const so this holds some file we have the color.js file so this holds the color of the app the white color dark color light color gray color blue color red color and a transparent color and right here i exported the color object then over here we create a file called um houses.js so this hold the houses of the app so it's just an array with um several objects so each object has an id title location image details interior and this interior holds an array with the several um interior images then over here I create a folder called views and inside the folder I create a folder called screens so this folder holds the screen of the app so I create the detail screen component so this component return a safe area view and also I've imported the um, vector icon so making use of vector icon for the project and below it I imported the colors so right here I create the home screen component and inside the home screen component I also return the safe area view component and right here i imported the colors the icon and also i've imported the houses over here then right here, i create the onboard screen component and inside this component i return the safe area view also and the colors file right here inside the app.js i import the navigation container so making use of react navigation for navigation and also i bring in the um create stack navigator so making use of the stack um navigator and right here i imported the various screen so over here i define the screen the onboard screen home screen and the detail screen and for the stack navigator i pass in the screen option and i set the header shown to false so this is going to get rid of all the header in this screen so that's all for the structure of the project let's start coding the app so start by working on the onboard screen so let me bring up the ui for reference so right here for the onboard screen we have this image with this um, round shape and also we have this indicator then below the indicator we have this text and below the text we have under text over here 
and below it we have this button of get started so start by styling the safe area view so give it a style and give it a flex of one then i'll give it a background color of white so say background color i'll say colors dot white so this is from the color object then right now we're going to add an image component so this is going to display this image over here so right here we add an image component and for the image component we give it a source of the onboard image so say source require i hit save so right now we have the image so now we are going to start styling the image and for the image we give the style of image we say style dot image then over here we are going to add the style for the image style we give the height of 420 pixels say height 420 pixels then we give it a width of 100 percent and right now we have the image so the next step we are going to add this curve shape to the image and to do that to add the border bottom left radius and give it 100 pixels so we'll say border bottom left radius then we'll give it 100 so right now we have the image with the curve shape so the next step we are going to add the status bar and we are going to give the props of translucent so this is going to allow it to draw the app under the image which is going to give it this look so to do that over here we we'll bring in the status bar component so we'll say status bar and for the status bar we'll give it the translucent props i hit save so right now it's going to draw the app under the screen so why we are not seeing this image is because the status bar is not transparent and to fix that we'll give the background color and give the transparent color so say colors dot transparent i hit save so right now we have the app drawn under the screen so the next step i'm going to add this indicator so to add the indicator we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the three indicators so below the image component we'll add a view and for the view we'll give the style of indicator container so this view is going to hold the indicator so say style dot indicator container i hit save and for the indicator container style we are going to give the height of 20 pixels or so say height give 20 pixels then give it a justify content of center align items of center but before we do that we give the flex direction of row so this is going to align the item from left to right so say flex direction and give it row then we'll give it a justify content of center and align items of center and that's all for the indicator container so right now i'm going to add each indicator so for the indicator we are going to add a view so add a view then we are going to give the style of indicator so say style and say style dot indicator and now we are going to add the style so before we add the style we are going to duplicate these two times so we'll have the three indicators and for this style we are going to give the height of three pixels so say height give three pixels we give the width of 30 pixels we give the background color of gray so say background color and say colors dot gray so now we have the indicators so the next step we are going to add some space between the indicators so to do that we give the margin horizontal of five pixels let's so say margin horizontal and give five pixels then also we give the border radius of five pixels five pixels so hit save so right now we have the indicators so actually this indicator have different style so this is the selected um indicator so to fix it we are going to add an external class so we are going to call it an active indicator and we are going to apply it to this um indicator alone over here i'm going to get this style and i'll add the square bracket because i'm adding multiple style then i'll add this style right now i'm going to add the indicator active style so say style dot indicator active so this for this um indicator over here so for the indicator active style we are just going to change the background color and give the background color of dark so say background color and say colors dot dark i'll hit save so right now we have the indicators and also we have the active indicator so the next step i'm going to add this text define your sweet home text and this text below to do that you are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the both text 
So below the indicator container, we'll add a view. And for the view, we are going to give it a style. We give it a horizontal padding of 20 pixels. That's a padding. Then give the padding top of 20 pixels also. I hit save and that's all for this style. So right now we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold this text. So actually these text are, are two text components. So the first text component is going to hold the find your text. While the second text component is going to hold the sweet home text. So over here we'll add a view. And for the view we'll add a text component. Then we'll add a text of find your. I'll hit save. So right now I'm going to add a style to the text component. But before we do that, let's make sure we import the test component. So over here, we we'll import the test component. And for the test component, we we'll give the style of title. Say style. And say style dot title. I'll hit save. So right now, I'm going to duplicate this test component. Then I'll change this to sweet home. So now I'm going to start styling the title style. For the title style, we we'll give it a font size of 32 pixels. We we'll say font size. Give it 32 pixels. Then we'll give it a font weight of bold. We we'll say font weight and give it bold. And that's all for the style. So right now we're going to add this um, text over here. So below this view holding this bold text, we are going to add another view. So this view is going to hold two text components also. So the first text component is going to be this text of schedule visit in just a few click. Why the second test component is going to be this text of visit in just a few clicks. So right here, we'll first add the view. And for the view, we we'll give the margin top of 10 pixels. So we want a space between these text over here. So we'll say margin top and give 10 pixels. So right here, I'm going to add the test components for the text. So add the test component. I'm going to get the text. I'll paste it over here. Hit save. So right now, I'm going to add a style to the text. I will give the style of text style. I'll say style. I'll say text style. So I'm going to duplicate this text component and I'm going to change the text to the second text. So I'll get the text and I'm going to paste it right here. So this is the text over here. So right now, I'm going to start styling the text style. And for the text style, we give the font size of 16 pixels. Then we'll give it a color of gray. Say color. I'll say colors dot gray. And that's all for the text over here. So the next step, I want to add this guest style button. So below the view that is holding the boot text, I'm going to add a view. So this view is going to hold the button. So um, we are going to style the view. So add a style. We'll give it a flex of one. Then we'll give it a justify content of flex and and a padding bottom of 40 pixels. So padding bottom, give me 40 pixels. So hit save. So right now I'm going to add the button. So to add the button, we'll add a view. I'll give the view a style of BTN. So say style. I'll say style dot BTN. I'll hit save. So inside the view, we are going to add the test component for the button title. So add the test component. Then we'll give it a title of guest head. I'll hit save. So right now I'm going to add a color to the text. I'll give it a color of white. So say color. I'll say colors dot white. So we have the color. So actually it's not showing because it's the same color with this um screen background. So right now I'm going to style the BTN style. And for the BTN style, we give it a height of 60 pixels. We give it a margin horizontal of 20 pixels. So say margin horizontal 20 pixels. Then we'll give it a background color of black. That is the dark color. So say colors dot dark. And also we are going to give the border radius of um 15 pixels. Let's so say border radius give 15 pixels. I hit save. So um let me get rid of this. So right now we have the button. So the next step I want to center this text inside the button. And to do that, we give it a justify content of center and align items of center. Give it align items. Hit save. So right now we have the text centered in the button. So and that's all for the BTN style. So the next step, I want to wrap the button with a pressable component. And once we click on it, we are going to make use of the navigation object to navigate to the home screen. So over here, we'll add the pressable component. So say pressable. Then I'm going to take the button. Then we are going to put it inside the pressable component. I'll hit save. Then we'll add the unpressed props. 
and for the unpressed props we are going to navigate to the home screen so bring in the navigation object so say navigation then over here we'll call the method navigate and we are going to navigate to the home screen so i'm going to get the name of the home screen and over here i'm going to paste it so right now if we click on it it's going to take us to the home screen so let me open the home screen component and for the home screen we have this header so we are going to add this header and inside the header we have the test of location and below the test we have the um, location of canada and also we have this um, profile image over here so for the home screen we'll start by styling the safe area component so add a style and for this style we give it a background color of white with the colors dot white then we'll give it a flex of one so this is going to allow it to take the available space then inside the safe area view component we are going to add the status bar so we want to get rid of the translucent props so don't want it to draw the screen under the status bar so over here we'll add the status bar and for the translucent we are going to set it to false the translucent we'll give it false so with this translucent of false is no longer going to draw the app under the status bar and for the status bar we'll give it a background color and give it a color of white so say colors dot white and also we are going to set this bar style to um dark content so this is going to allow the items in the status bar to show up so say bar style and we'll give it dark content I'll hit save so right now we have the items in the status bar showing up so below the status bar component we are going to add a view for the header and for the view we give it a style of um header so say style and say style dot header for the header style we give it a padding vertical of 20 pixels we'll say padding vertical and give 20 pixels then we'll give it a flex direction of row then we'll give it a justify content or space between and a padding horizontal of 20 pixels was a padding horizontal give 20 pixels and that's all for the header style so right now i'm going to start adding the element inside the header so inside the header we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold this text so it's going to hold two test components so the first test component is going to have a test of location while the second test component is going to have a test of canada so right here we'll add a view and over here we'll add the test component then we'll give it a test of location and right now i'm going to add a style to the test component but if i add a style let's make sure we import the test component so right here i'm going to import the test component and for the test component style we'll just give it the color of gray we'll say color and we'll say colors dot gray so let me navigate to the home screen so right now we have the um, test of location. So right here I'm going to duplicate this and I'll change it to Canada. Then we are going to change this to a dark color. And also we give it a font size of 20 pixels and a font width of both. So say font size 20 pixels. Then we'll give it a font width of both. So right now we have the location text and the text of Canada. So below this view holding the test component, we are going to add an image component. So this image component is going to display this um, profile image over here. So over here we'll add an image component. And for the image component, we are going to give it the image of person.jpg. So say source. We get it from the asset folder. I'll say person.jpg. I'll hit save. So right now we have the image so now we are going to start styling the image component so for the image component we are going to add a style so i'll give it a style of profile image so say style dot profile image so i want to get this style and right now i'm going to start styling it for the profile image style we give it a height of 50 pixels we we'll give it a width of 50 pixels also and then we'll give it a border radius of 25 pixels so this is going to give it a round shape so say border radius and give 25 pixels so right now we have the profile image so um the next step i want to start working on the search input so before we work on the search input we are going to add a scroll view component 
so that the page is going to um, scroll if the element inside the screen overflows. So right here, we'll add a scroll view component. And right now, I'm going to add the um, search input and this sort button. So for the search input and the sort button, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold the input and the button. So inside the scroll view component, to we'll add a view. And we are going to style the view. So we'll give it a style. And for this style, we we'll give it a flex direction of row. We we'll give it a justify content or space between. So justify content, space between. Then we we'll give it a padding horizontal of 20 pixels. So the padding horizontal and give 20 pixels. So I hit save. So right now I'm going to add the search input. And to add the search input, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold this icon and also it's going to hold the test input. So inside this view, we'll add a view. And for the view, we'll give it a style of search input container. So say style. And say style dot search input container. I hit save. So right now I'm going to style the um, search input container style. For the search input container style, we give it a height of 50 pixels. Then we we'll give it a background color of light. So say background color. Say colors dot light. Then over here, we'll add a flex of one to it. So right now we have the um, input container. So we are going to give it a flex direction of row. Flex direction. We'll give it row. Then we'll give it align items of center, a padding horizontal of 20 pixels and a border radius of 12 pixels. So say padding horizontal, give 20 pixels and border radius of um, 10 pixels. And that's all for the search input container. So right now I'm going to add the search icon and also the text um, input component. So for the search icon, we'll add the icon component. Then we'll give it the name of search. And now we have the search icon. So the next step, we're going to give it a size of 25 pixels. And also we give it a color of gray. So say colors dot gray. And that's all for the search input um, component. So right now we're going to add the test input component. So add the test input. And for the test input, we give it a placeholder of search address city location. So we give it a placeholder. And I'm going to bring in the text. And right now we have the um, placeholder over here. So that's all for the test component. So right now we're going to add the um, sort button. So to add the sort button, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold this um, sort icon. So below the view that is holding the search icon and the test input component, we are going to add a view and we'll give this view a style of sort button. So say style, or say style dot sort btn. Then we are going to style the sort button style. So for the sort btn, we we'll give it a background color of dark. So say background color and say colors dot dark. Then we we'll give it a height of 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels. So we'll say height 50 pixels. I'll give the width of 50 pixels also. Hit save. So right now we have the um, sort BTN. So the next step, I want to add a border radius. So I'll give the border radius of 10 pixels. And also we give the justify content of center align items of center. So this is going to center the icon inside the view. So say justify content, we give center. Then give it align items of center. I'll hit save. So the next step, we're going to add the margin left to it. So we want a space between the search input and the end. So say margin left and give it um, 10 pixels. So right now we have space between the both um, component. So right now we're going to add the um, sort icon. So inside the view, we are going to add an icon component. And for the icon component, we we'll give it a name of tune. So say tune. Then we'll give it a color of white and a size of 25 pixels. So say color, say color dot white and give it a size of 25 pixels. Let's see. So right now we have the sort icon and the um, search input. So let's take a look at UI. So right now I'm going to add this card of buy a home and also add the card of um, rent a home. So to do that, I want to create a component called um, list option. So right here, we'll create a component to say const list option. And over here, 
we are going to um, add the component there's a list options so inside the list option component we are going to return a view and we are going to give the view a style of option list container so say style we'll say style dot option list container so i'm going to get this style and i'm going to style it so for this style we give the flex direction of row we we'll give the justify content or space between we we'll say justify content or space between then we'll give the margin top of 20 pixels and padding horizontal of 20 pixels margin top 20 padding horizontal give 20 pixels and that's all for this style so right now i'm going to add the option list so the option list is going to be an array that holds an object so the first object is going to have a title of buy home with the image and second object is going to have a title of rent a home with this um, image so with this option list i want to iterate through the array and we are going to um display the image and also we are going to display the um, title over here i'm going to add the option list so say const the option list which is going to be an array and i'm going to bring the both object in and i'll paste it right here so the object has a title so the first title is by home with the image of the first house then second title is rent a home with the image of the second house so inside this option list container which is going to hold these um cards we are going to iterate through the option list and we are going to um, render the title and the image so right here we are going to map through the option list so say option options list not option list don't say dot map we bring in the option and also we bring in the index then over here we are going to return a view and i'm going to give the view a style of um option card so say style and say style dot option card so right now i'm going to add this style and i'm going to start styling it so for the option card we are going to give it a height of 210 pixels then we'll give it a width of width divide by 2 minus 30 pixels so we want each card to take about 50 percent of the screen width so right here we'll say width and we'll say width divide by 2 minus 30 pixels so right now we're going to add the width so for the width over here we'll create a variable called width we'll say const i want to put the width from the dimension api so bring in the dimension um api i'll say dot get i want to get the um screen width so now we have the screen width so the next step we're going to add an elevation to the card so say elevation then we'll give 15 pixels and also we are going to give the background color of white say colors dot white hit save so right now we have the cards over here so right now we're going to start adding the image and also the title to the card so inside the option card we are going to add an image component and for the image component we are going to give it the image so we'll say source and to get the image we'll say option dot img hit save so right now we have the image so the next step we are going to start styling the image component but for do that we want to add a key to the view and give it index so this is going to get rid of the um key warning issues so over right here we'll give it a style of option card image so say style i'll say style dot option card image so i'm going to get the style and for the option card image we are going to give the height of 140 pixels then we'll give the border radius of 10 pixels and a width of 100 percent the border radius 10 then we'll give it a width of 100 percent i'll hit save so right now we have the image so now i want to continue styling the um option card so for the option card we give it align items of center say align items center then we'll give it a border radius of 20 pixels and also we are going to give it a padding top of 10 pixels and a padding horizontal of 10 pixels so we'll say padding top 10 pixels and a padding horizontal of 10 pixels and i think that's all for the option card 
um, style. So right now I'm going to add the title to the card. So for the title below the image component, we'll add a text component. And for the text component, we are going to give it the title text. So to do that, we'll say option dot title. So right now we have the um text. So we are going to style the text. So add a style. And for this style, we are going to give the margin top of 10 pixels. Margin top 10 pixels. Then we'll give it a font size of 18 pixels. We give it a font width of both. Hit save. So right now we have the text. So um I think that's all for the option card. So right now I'm going to start adding the um this category list over here. And for the category list, we are going to create a component called list categories. So say const. Then inside the component, we are going to return a view. So for this view, I want to give it a style of category list container. So say style, say style dot category list container. So I'm going to get this style and we are going to start styling it. So before we do that, we are going to um, add the component over here. And for the category list container style, we we'll give it a margin top of 40 pixels. So say margin top 40 pixels. Then we'll give it a flex direction of row. Flex direction. We'll give it row. We'll give it a justify content or space between and a padding horizontal of 40 pixels. So say justify content space between. I'll we'll give it a padding horizontal of 40 pixels. Hit save. And that's all for the category list container. So right now I want to start adding the um, categories itself. So to do that, you're going to create an array for the several categories. So over here, we'll create an array. We'll say const and we'll give it a name of category list. So I'm going to bring in the categories. I'm going to paste it over here. So I hit save. So right now we have the category list. So um, right now we're going to map through the category and we're going to um, display the category. So right here we say category list dot map, return the test component. And over here we are going to bring in the category and also the index. So I hit save. So right now I'm going to display the category right here. So to display the category, we'll say we'll add the category over here. And now it's going to show the categories. So right now we're going to add a style to the test component. And for this style, we are going to add an array. So we are going to add several styles. So we'll add the style of category list test. So say style dot category list test. Hit save. So I'm going to get this style. And for the category list test, we give the font size of 16 pixels font size then we'll give it a font width of bold the font weight give it bold we'll give it a padding bottom of five pixels and a color of gray so say padding bottom and give it five pixels then we'll give it a color of gray so say colors dot gray so right now we have the category list so um the next step i'm going to add the select um functionality so once we click on the category it's going to select the category which is going to make the test a dark color and also it's going to add this um border below the text so to do that we're going to add a state which is going to be the selected category index so once it's selected we are going to apply the style that is the selected style we are going to create a style called active category list text. So once it's active, we are going to apply that style, else it's going to apply this style. So over here, we are going to create the state. So we'll say const and we'll say selected category index. Then we'll say set selected category index to set the category index, which is going to be react.use state. And by default, you are going to give it zero for the index so right now we have the state so now we are going to create the active category list test style so over here we are going to create a style called active category list text 
So we are going to apply this style if the category is selected. So for this style, we are going to change the color to a dark color. So say color, colors dot dark. Then we are going to add a border button width of one pixels. So say border button width the one pixels. Then we'll give it a padding bottom of five pixels. So say padding bottom, we'll give five pixels. And that's all for this style. So right now we are going to add the condition. So once the category is selected, it's going to apply this the active category list um style else is going to apply this style so to do that we're going to add a logical operator so say if index is close to selected index you are going to apply the style so apply the active category list style text so i hit save and this should apply the style for the first category which is popular category so this should be two equal sign not one so right now we have the um popular category selected so the next step we're going to add the functionality so once we click on any of the category like once we click on the recommended category it's going to select the category so to do that we're going to add the pressable component i'm going to take this test component down put it inside this pressable component and for the pressable component once we click on it we are going to set the selected category index to this index so actually this should be selected category index not selected category index set so i'm going to get rid of the set so right here we're going to add the unpressed props so before we do that we're going to add the key props and give it the index as the key so this is going to get rid of the key warning and also we are going to add the unpressed props so say unpress and for the unpressed i'm going to call the set selected category index so say set selected category index and i'm going to pass in the index so once we click on this it's going to set this value to this index which is going to um apply the style to the selected category so if I click on it, it's going to select the category and also if i click on this it's going to select the category so that's all for the category list so the next step i want to start adding this card over here so we are going to create a card component for the card so say const and say card so for the card component you are going to return a view so right now we're going to add a flat list component to list the card so below the list category component to we'll add a flat list component and for the flat list component we we'll give the data of houses and also we are going to give it a render item of card so surrender item so bring in the card component and over here we are going to pull out the item so say item then we are going to pass it to the card as a house props so say house and give it the item so right now i'm going to start working on the card component so for the card component we are going to give it a style of um card say style dot card and right now we are going to add the card style and start styling it before we do that we are going to bring in the house props for the card style we give the height of 250 pixels we we'll give it a background color of white so say background color and say colors dot white then we'll give it elevation of 10 pixels we we'll say elevation give 10 and hit save so right now we are going to give it a width of width minus um 40 pixels so say width and we'll get the width the screen width and subtract 40 pixels from it then we'll give it a margin right of 20 pixels a padding of 15 and a border radius of 20 pixels so say margin right 20 pixels padding of 15 pixels then we're going to give it a border radius of 20 pixels Border radius and give it 20 pixels so i hit save and that's all for the card so right now we have the cards rendered over here so the next step i'm going to add a horizontal props to the flat list so i want it to list the card horizontally so right here we'll give it the horizontal props and right now we have the card listed horizontally and also we are going to get rid of the scroll bar so to do that we'll say show horizontal indicator and set it to 
and false and now we are going to add some style to the flat list so to do that we'll say content container style we'll give the padding left of um 20 pixels then we'll give it a padding vertical of 20 pixels we'll say padding vertical and give 20 pixels so right now i'm going to start adding the element inside the card so the first component we are going to add is the image component which is going to show the image of the house so inside the view we'll add an image um, component and for the image component i want to give it a source of house dot image so say source and say house dot image and hit save so right now we have the image so the next step i want to style the image component so we give it a style and for the style we give it a style of card image so say style dot card image so i'm going to get the style and style it so for the card image style we are going to give it a width of 100 percent so i want you to take the full weight then we'll give the height of 120 pixels let's we'll say height give 120 pixels and we'll give it a border radius of 15 pixels or we'll say border radius don't give 15 pixels i hit save so right now we have the image so the next step we are going to start adding the title the um, price and also the location so to add the title and the price we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold this test component which is going to hold the title and we are going to add a test component over here for the price so below the image component we'll add a view and for the view we are going to give it a style so say style for the style we give the flex direction of row then we'll give it a justify content of space between and imagine top of 10 pixels let's imagine top we'll give 10 pixels so i hit save so right now i'm going to add the title and also i'm going to add the price so to add the title add the test component and we are going to give it a style before we do that we'll bring in the title so say house dot title so right now we have the title so i'm going to add this style to the um, test component so for this style we we'll give the font size of um 16 pixels then we we'll give the font width of bold the font width give bold i'll hit save and that's all for the title so i'm going to duplicate this then we are going to um change this to $1,500 so change it to the price and also I'm going to I'm going to add a color of blue to it so say color and say colors dot blue hit save and that's all for the price so the next step I'm going to add the um, location over here and to add the location below the view that is holding the title and the price we are going to add the test component I'm going to bring in the location so say house dot location so right now I'm going to add this style to the test component so I'll give the style and for this style we give the color of gray we give the font size of 14 pixels imagine top of 5 pixels and that's all for the style for the test component so right now i'm going to add these um facilities over here so we are going to add the icon and the total so to add the facilities we are going to add a view so this view is going to hold the three um facilities and inside the view i going to add a view so each view is going to hold a an icon component and also um a test component so to do that below the test component for the location we'll add a view and for this view i want to give it a style so we give it a margin top of 10 pixels so margin top 10 pixels then we'll give it a flex direction of row and that's all for the view so right now i'm going to add the view so the view is going to hold the icon and the number so inside the view we'll add another view so for this view i'm going to give it a style of facility so we'll say style i we'll say style dot facility so right now i'm going to get the style and i'm going to style it for the facility style we're going to give it a flex direction of row so say flex direction 
we give it row then we give it a margin right of 15 pixels let's imagine right and give 15 pixels so hit save and that's all for the um facility style so right now i'm going to add the icon and also i want to add the um test component so inside the view we are going to add an icon component so for the icon component i'm going to give it a name of hotel for the first icon or say name and say hotel then i'll give it a size of um 18 pixels so say size and give 18 pixels hit save so we have the icon so now we are going to add the test component for the number so add the test component and for the test component i'm going to give it a style of um facility text so say style and I'll say dot facility text and i want to give it two over here so i hit save so right now i want to um style the facility text style so for the style, we're going to give it a margin left of five pixels. So say margin left, we give five pixels. Then we'll give it a color of gray. So say color, and say colors dot gray. Hit save. So that's all for the facility test um component. And I'm going to change the icon to the corresponding icon. So I'm going to duplicate this. And for the second icon, we are going to give it an icon of bat top. For the third icon, we are going to give it an icon of aspect dash ratio. Hit save. So right now we have the icon. So I'm going to change this to 200 M. And I'll save. So that's all for the card component. So right now we're going to wrap the card component with an unpressed component. And we're going to add an unpressed props to it. I want to click on the card. We want it to take us to the detail screen. Then after that, we'll start working on the detail screen. So inside the card component, I'm going to bring in the pressable component. Then I'm going to take this view. I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to put it inside the pressable component. And for the pressable component, I'm going to add the props of on press. So on press. Then for the on press, we want to navigate to the detail screen once we um click on it. So say navigation, and let's make sure we bring in the um navigation props. So right here, I'm going to bring in the navigation props. Then right here, I'm going to use the navigate method to navigate to the detail screen. So navigate, and I'm going to get the detail screen name. So I'll get the name. I'll paste it over here. And while navigating, we want to pass the house details to the detail screen. So to do that, over here, we are going to add the um, house props. So hit save. So right now, if we navigate to the detail screen, we will to access this um, house object. So I want to click on it, and right now, we are at the detail screen. So I want to open the detail screen um, component, and I want to start working on it. So for the detail screen, we are going to start by styling the safe area view component also. So for this style, we give it a flex of one. Then we give it a background color of white. Let's say colors dot white. Hit save. So right now, I'm going to add a view. So this view is going to hold the house image and also this tag over here. So right here, we'll add a view. And for the view, we we'll give it a style of background image container. So say style. I say style dot background image container. So I'm going to get this style and I'm going to start styling it. So for this style, I'll give it an elevation of 20 pixels. I say elevation. I'll give 20. We give it a margin horizontal of 20 pixels. I say margin horizontal with 20 pixels. A margin top of 20 pixels. Then I'll give it align items of center and a height of 350 pixels. So say align items, say center. Then I'll give it a height of 350 pixels. So say 350 pixels. So I hit save. So inside the view component, we are going to add an image background component. So for the image background component, we are going to give it a style of background image. So say style. And by the way, the reason we are making use of the image background component instead of the image component is because we want to have the header inside the image. 
So right here, we'll add a style of um background image. So we'll say dot background. Then we are going to give it a source of the image. So to get the source, we are going to get it from the route object. So right here, we are going to bring in the navigation first because we are going to make use of it to navigate to the back to the home screen. So say navigation. Then we'll bring in the um, route props. So say route. And over here, we are going to create a variable called house. So this house is going to hold the object passed from the home screen. So say const. And say house. And to get the object, we get it from the route.params. So right now we have the um, object passed from the home screen. So the next step, I'm going to add the um, image to the image background component. So to do that, to say source, and we are going to get it from the um, house object. We we'll say house, and we we'll say dot image. So I'll hit save. So right now I'm going to start styling the um, background image style. For the background image style, we are going to give the height of hundred percent. We we'll give the width of 100% also. Then we we'll give the border radius of 20 pixels and overflow of heading. So say border radius, give 20 pixels. Then we we'll give it overflow and set it to heading. So I hit save. So right now, if we navigate to the um, detail screen, so right now we have the, um, the image. So the next step, we are going to add the header inside the image so to do that inside the image background component we are going to add a view we'll add a view and for the view we are going to give it a style of header so we'll say style we'll say style dot header so i want to get this style and for the header style we are going to give it a padding vertical of 20 pixels so say padding vertical. We we'll give 20 pixels. We we'll give the flex direction of row. We we'll give the justify content or space between and a padding horizontal of 10 pixels. So say justify content space between. Then we we'll give the padding horizontal of 10 pixels. And that's all for the header style. So right now I'm going to start adding the element inside the header. So for the buttons, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold the icon. And inside the header um, view, we'll add a view. So this view, I'm going to give the style of header btn. So say style dot header btn. For the header btn style, we give the height of 50 pixels. We we'll give the width of 50 pixels also. Then we we'll give the background color of white. We'll say background color. I we'll say color dot white. I hit save. So right now we have the um, button. So the next step, I want to give the border radius of five pixels. We we'll say border radius. Give five pixels. Then we'll give it a justify content of center align items of center. So this is going to center the icon both vertically and horizontally. Let's see. So right now I'm going to add the icon. So over here we'll add the icon component. And for the icon, we'll give the name of arrow dash back dash iOS. So say name. And right now we have the icon. So I want to give the size of 20 pixels. I'll hit save. So we have the icon. So the next step, we're going to add on press to it. And once we click on it, we want it to take us back to the home screen. So right here, we'll say on press. And for the on press props, we'll say navigation dot go back. So if I click on it, it's going to take me back to the home screen. So right now I'm going to duplicate this. Then I'm going to get rid of this on press props. So don't want it to take us back to the home screen if you click on this icon. 
and also we are going to change this to favorite and we are going to give it a color of red so say color and say colors dot red and that's all for the header so right now we are going to add this um virtual tour tag inside the image so to do that below the image background component we are going to add a view so add a view and for the view we give the style of um virtual tag so say style and say style dot virtual before we add the style, we are going to add the test component. So inside the test component, we give the test of virtual tour. I'm going to hit save. So um, let's make sure we bring in the test component. So I'm going to bring in the test component. And right now we have the text. For the text, so I want to give it a style. So give it a color of white. So say style. I'll say color I'll say colors dot white so right now i'm going to get this virtual tag um style i'm going to style it for this style we give it a top of minus 20 pixels we give it a width of 120 pixels so say width we give 120 pixels then we are going to give it a background color of black so say background color I'll say colors dot tag. Hit save. So right now we have the um tag. So we we'll give it a padding horizontal of 20 pixels. Let's so say padding horizontal. Give 20 pixels. Then we we'll give it a height of 40 pixels. A border radius of 10 pixels. Let's say border radius 10 pixels. We are going to give the justify content of center and align items of center so this is going to center the text so this is the tag right here and i think that's all for the virtual tag style so right now we are going to start adding the um the title rating location facilities the text and also this interior image so to do that we are going to add a view so this view we are going to give the style of details container so this is going to hold all these details over here so over here we are going to add a view then for the view we are going to give it a details container before we do that we are going to add a scroll view component so we want the whole page to scroll if the element overflow so say scroll view so i'm going to get everything and I'm going to put it inside the scroll view component. So with this, the page is going to scroll if the elements overflow. So over here, I'm going to give it a style of details container. So say style. I'll say style dot details container. For the details container style, I'm going to give it a flex of one. Then we'll give it a padding horizontal of 20 pixels and a margin top of 40 pixels. So we'll say padding horizontal, say we'll 20 pixels, and we'll give the margin top of um 40 pixels. So now inside the details container, we are going to add a view. So this view is going to hold the title and these ratings over here. So over here, we'll add a view. And for the view, we are going to give it a style of flex direction and we'll set it to row. So we'll say style. We'll say flex direction. We'll give it row. Then a justify content to give space between. So we'll say justify content and we'll give it um, space between. Hit save. So right now we're going to start adding the um, title and the rating. And for the title, we are going to add a test component. Inside the test component, we are going to add the title. So to do that, we'll say house dot title. So right now we have the title. So the next step, I want to add some style to the test component. So for the test component, we are going to give it a font size of 20 pixels and a font width of both. So the font size. 
and give it 20 pixels then we'll give it a font width of bold so now we have the title style so right now i want to add the rating tag and also the number of rating so to do that we're going to add a view so this view is going to hold the rating tag and also it's going to hold the test component for the number of the rating so over here below the test component we are going to add a view and also we are going to style the view so for the view we give it a style we give it a um, flex direction of row and align items of center so say flex direction we give it row then we give it align items and give center so inside the view we are going to add another view so this view is going to hold the um, rating tag so i'm going to give it a style of um, rating tag so say style and say style dot rating tag so i'm going to get this style and for the rating tag i want to give it a height of 30 pixels we we'll give it a width of 35 pixels then we'll give it a background color of blue so say background color then we'll say colors dot new so right here we have the tag so right now we're going to give it a border radius of 5 pixels with so the border radius we'll give it 5 pixels and also we we'll give it a justify content of center align items of center so the justify content to the center and we'll give it align items of center so that's all for this style so right now we're going to add the test component and we're going to add the rating so inside the rating tag we'll add the test component and we're going to give the rating of 4.8 then over here we're going to style the text so for the style we we'll give it a color of white we we'll say colors and say color dot white and that's all for the text so right now we're going to add the uh the number of ratings over here and to do that below the rating tag view we are going to add a test component then we'll give it a number of 155 ratings and also we are going to add a style so for this style we give it a font size of 13 pixels and give it a margin left of 5 pixels so once a margin between the rating tag and the number of rating so say margin left and give 5 pixels so i hit save and that's all for the title the rating tag and the number of rating and right now we're going to add the location so below this view that is holding the title and the rating we'll add the test component and inside the test component to add the location so get location from the house object and we'll say dot location so this is the location over here so right now i'm going to style the text so for the text we'll give it a style and we'll give it a font size of um 16 pixels then we'll give it a color of gray so it's a color and say colors dot gray and that's all so right now we have the um location so right now we're going to add the facilities over here so we already have the facilities inside the card um component in the home screen so i'm just going to get it from the home screen and we are going to make some changes to it so i'm going to go back to the home screen and i'm going to get the facilities so i'm going to get it i'll copy it from here i'll go back to detail screen then i'm going to paste it below the test component so i hit save and we are going to make some changes to it i think so we change this to 20 pixels then we are going to change this to um area 100 m area then also we have to get the facility style and the facility test style so we'll come down over here where we added these styles i'm going to get it then we'll go back to the detail screen i want to add it style over here so that's all and right now we have the um facilities so the next step we are going to add this style and after this style we are going to add the interior images so to do that over here we are going to add the text component and i'm going to get the text so to get the text we'll say house dot details so we are going to get the details text and also we are going to style the text component 
so for this style we we'll give the margin top of 20 pixels so say margin top then we will give it 20 pixels and we we'll give it a color of gray so say color and say colors dot gray hit save text over here and that's all for the details test so the next step i want to start adding the interior um, image so to add the interior image you're going to create a component called interior image and this is going to render the interior image so say const interior image and this is going to take in an image props or say image which is going to return an image um component so say return and we are going to return an image component and for the image component we are going to give it a source I'm passing the image and also we are going to add the image style so say style dot interior image so i hit save and i'm going to get the style but before we start styling it we are going to add a flat list component to list the image so below this text we'll add a flat list component and for the flat list component we are going to give it a data props for the data and give it house dot interiors so this is going to loop through the list of the interior inside each object for the house there is a property called interiors and this interior property holds an array of um image of the interior so we are going to iterate through these um images over here so we'll say house dot interior interiors so i hit save and also we are going to give it a horizontal props so we want to list it horizontally then we we'll get rid of the scroll bar so say show horizontal indicator and we'll set it to false then for the render item we are going to pass in the um interior image so say render item interior image so we have a typo we are going to fix it right now so this should be interior i'm going to yeah add the r to it and i want to give the props of image i'm passing the item so over here i'm going to pull out the item i'll hit save so right now i want to start styling the um interior image so for the interior image i want to give it a width of width divided by 3 minus 20 um pixels so say width divided by 3 minus 20 so i hit save so right now i want to bring in the um, screen width so actually we already defined the screen width in the home screen so i'm just going to get it from the home screen so i'll get the width over here and right here i'm going to paste it and also make sure we bring in the dimension api dimensions hit save so right now we have the image so i want to continue styling the interior image style so give the height of 80 pixels then give it the margin right of 10 pixels and the border radius of 10 pixels so the margin right give 10 pixels then give border radius of 10 pixels so the border radius 10 pixels hit save and that's all for the image so the next step i want to add some style to the flat list itself so for the flat list component we are going to add a style so say content container style and i'll give the margin top of 20 pixels so say margin top and give 20 pixels and also we are going to bring in the key extractor props and extract the key so that is going to get rid of the key issue warning so say key extractor and say key dot to string so this is going to get rid of the key warning so i think that's all for the interior image so the next step i'm going to add the um footer this footer over here then we'll add the price then we'll add this text of total price and also we add the button over here so below the flat list component we are going to add the view and for the view we give it a style of footer so say style and say style dot footer and for the footer style we give the height of 70 pixels we give the background color of light color so say background color and say colors dot light so this is the footer over here 
so right now i'm going to give it a border radius of 10 pixels so say border radius give 10 pixels and we are going to give it a padding horizontal of 20 pixels then we give it a margin vertical of 10 pixels so say margin vertical give 10 pixels hit save then we give it a flex direction of row align items of center and a justify content of space between so say align items to center then give the justify content of space between and that's all for the footer style so right now i'm going to start adding the element inside the footer and inside the footer i'm going to add a view so this view is going to hold two test components so the first test component is going to be the price and the second test component is going to be the total price text over here so right here we'll add a view and for the view we'll add a test component and give it a price of 1500 and also we are going to add a style to the test component so for the test component we give it a color of blue with the colors dot blue then we give it a font weight of bold and a font size of 18 pixels. So it's a font weight. We give it bold. Then we give it a font size of um, 18 pixels. So I'm going to hit save. So right now we have the price. So I'm going to duplicate this. Then we're going to change this to um, total price. So we'll change this to total price. And over here we're going to change this to 12 pixels. And also we change the color to a gray color. I hit save. And that's all for the um, price and also the total price text. So right now I'm going to add the book now um BTN. So to do that, we are going to add a view. And for the view, we give it a style of um book now BTN. So say style dot book now BTN and before we add this tab we are going to add a text component for the button so we give the text of book now hit save so right now we have the text so the next step we are going to style the text so for the text we are going to give it a style we we'll give it a color of white so say color and say colors dot white and that's all for the style so right now we're going to style the book now btn style for this style we're going to give the height of 50 pixels we give the justify content of center align items of center then we're going to give the background color of dark so say color dot dark and also give the border radius of 10 pixels and a padding horizontal of 20 pixels so say border radius 10 pixels and a padding horizontal of um, 20 pixels. So say padding horizontal and we'll give it 20 pixels. Hit save and that's all for the book now button. So that will be all for the detail screen components. So actually we forgot to add snap interval to the flat list listing this card which is going to give it a carousel effect. So to do that inside the home screen and the flat list listing the um card we are going to add a props of snap interval and we are going to give it an interval of width minus 20 pixels so right now if i save so if i scroll the card and i release it's going to snap which is going to give it this carousel effect so let's take a look at the ui once again so over here we have the onboard screen with this image and the indicator and also we have this find your sweet home text and below it you have this text and right here if i click on the button it's going to take us to the home screen inside the home screen we have the header the search input the sort button this card over here and below it we have the category list and also i can click on the category list then below the category list we have the um cards and once i click on the card it's going to take us to the detail screen so we have the image of the digital screen the virtual tour tag the title rating the location and also we have the facilities and the details then below the details we have the interior image and the footer over here
and that'll be all for the video if you know you find the video helpful please like and share and also if not subscribe to the channel please consider subscribing turn on post notifications so that i'm notified anytime i upload a new video and i'll see you in the next video thank you